Hi. Alright, this is part two of Movie Month. You know, I'm doing Movie Month where each segment in January is going to be in honor of the whole award season. Um, so, uh, the Oscar nominations came out yesterday, and I'd say I'm satisfied, and uh, it would be nice if uh, some other things got nominated that were sort of snubbed, but uh, more, maybe more on that, like when it gets closer to the whole, uh, to, the, to the Oscar show. Um, but in honor of the Oscar nominations, I came, I decided to do a movie tag. I came across a movie tag, and it was, uh, here's the thing about that. I, I saw this, um, video by AZ4 Angela, and that's the number, the number four, and she says she got it off of Sonya something, um, I don't know, I... I, I think she might have created it, but I tried to find that channel, and I could not find the original movie tag. Um, but uh, I'm going to put in the description the link to Angela's video, um, just to acknowledge her, and uh, uh, as well as the questions. So, um, yeah, you, you know I love my book tags, but this is a movie tag. And I will say that uh, it's mainly meant for movies, but... Um, there's some there's some questions about TV in there and uh, there's a few so that center on TV but it's really about movies so here we go okay uh, do you the first question is do you prefer movies TV or both and I'm gonna say both because you know I'm a mass communications major um, I so I love the whole I love the film industry and I love the TV industry and uh, I um, I watch I, I I could talk all about movies, and I love watching TV, and, um, I, so yeah, just, just both, just because I'm into both, uh, businesses and industries, and I'm, I'm majoring in the media, so it's, I feel like, you know, I have a, I have a reason why to love it, um, based on what I'm studying, so. Okay, question two is, do you rent, purchase, download or stream your movies and I rent and purchase them uh I'll I'll stream an occasional movie um I don't really download them uh but I purchase them and uh I rent them from a video store uh and even though it's not really renting I get movies from the library too but those are like older movies I yeah I I rent a lot of older old older movies um and and borrow them from the library but uh but I do purchase a lot of movies, as you can see behind me. Um, and this isn't all of them. <laughs> I have more here, more down here. Uh, but uh, I, I have a lot. Yeah. I, I purchase and rent them, basically. Okay, question three is in like three parts. Uh, it's, how often do you go to the theater? What? When was the last time you went and what movie was it? And I pretty much, year-round, I go, like, once a month or twice a month. But when it comes to the the movies that are going to be, like, um, that are for the awards, I go very frequently. I can go up to, like, four four times a week. Well, not, I don't mean, like, per week, but I mean there'll be one week of the whole season where I'll see four movies, you know? I'll see, I'll see one, like, on consecutive days and, uh... I'll go, not not really twice in a day, at least in the theater, I don't see movies like twice a day, but I'll go like consecutive days or a weekend, um, I, I can see up to like three movies in a week or four, um, I, I see them a lot more frequently during the award season, but year round in general, it's like once or, one, once or twice a month, you know, like from the spring to the fall seasons, so, um, I mean, I love, I love going to the theater, I love going to the movies. Okay, question four is how many movies do you own? And I'm going to estimate 50 to 70. And that's talking about all the DVDs here. I have another row of DVDs that's that's down here. Um, and I have a, I have some Blu-rays. Uh, they're, they're in another part of the house, but, though. But I have, I have about maybe a dozen Blu-rays and uh, maybe a little bit more than that. So I'm going to say... I'm going to range like 50 to 70 movies. And okay, question five is how many TV shows are you into and name them? I can't really name um, 
I'm not. I'm not, not going to name all the all the shows I watch, and I I can't estimate them either because there's. Uh, it's easier to estimate the number of movies I I own, but not not the TV shows I see, um, because I could dedicate like seven nights to TV, um, but sometimes I just watch a show just to just because it's on, even though I don't regularly watch it. But I will say I watch mainly sitcoms and uh, comedies. And uh, I watch some drama and one and one reality. I'm gonna name a drama show and a reality show. The drama show that I watch that's currently on is Nashville. I love Nashville. I I've never missed an episode. I I I got this out of spontaneity after I'd seen the first season on TV, and I haven't watched this yet. Um, but I I've watched every single episode of Nashville, and I just love it. It's it, 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 not a lot of people watch it. I don't. I don't think a lot of people like it either. But I love it, and I love Connie Britton and hate Panettiere and everyone. And they're all really, really good. And um, I will say that I, I also I mentioned this before, and I featured these. But I have the first two seasons of Once Upon a Time, and I don't watch this on TV. Um, I know I could. It's on ABC, but it's. Um, it's a. Uh, it's just because I I prefer to watch it on DVD. So I had the, I have the first season. I have the second season. So when I get when I get through with season two, that's when I'm gonna find season three. And I love Once Upon a Time cause, just because I love fairy tales and things. And the reality show that I watch is The Voice. I don't watch reality, but I've never ever missed an episode of The Voice. I. I watch every single season, and. I just, it's its one of the reasons I love Monday nights. No one loves Mondays, but I love Monday nights, and so I have something to look forward to on a Monday, and I just, I love it just because I love, you you can see I love music, because um, I love Nashville, I love The Voice. I have, I have, a, I have the first season of Glee down here, and uh, it's just, uh, I love The Voice and Nashville, and comedy shows are another thing. Maybe I could dedicate another segment to that, but it's, there's just so much. Okay, question six is who are you? Who is your favorite actress? And I can't think of just one. Um, oh well, I love I love Meryl Streep. You know who doesn't love Meryl Streep? Um, and uh, she's just incredible. Uh, Zoe Deschanel. She's she's just so cute. She's adorable. I want I want Zoe Deschanel to be my big sister. Um, I love her. Uh, I also love, um, oh, like, Julia Roberts, Kate Hudson, Emma Stone, Reese Witherspoon, um, Jennifer Aniston. Uh, again, there's so many. I think I'll dedicate another segment to actors and actresses. Okay, question seven is who is your favorite actor? And again, I can't think of just one. I have to dedicate another segment to this. Um, I'll say John Cusack, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Gerard Butler. Uh, there's there's a lot. Um, yeah, just I, I'm, I, that, that's a few, so that'll that'll work. Okay, question eight is what show do you miss and want to bring back if you could? And I'm gonna say Smash. Um, this was this is how long the se series was. It was two seasons long, and uh, they both premiered. They were both mid-season premieres, so which is like around now, and um, it was it was cut so short. I don't think a lot of people liked it. I heard a lot of negative stuff about it, but I loved it, and I it was such an amazing show. Earlier, you s I said how I like music shows. Like I love Nashville and Glee and. Um, and, and smash and I because I like musicals so uh, yeah and I was really really bummed out that this was canceled and I really missed it but I do I, I know the I have both seasons so I can watch it whenever I want but it's just it's a bummer that it's not new and that it's that it's canceled and that it's um, and, and how how good it was it was a really really good show okay question nine is what is your favorite genre and I'm gonna say dramedy. Uh, I there, that's a movie that's considered a comedy, 
and uh, but it's it has uh, more emotional themes and subject matter, and uh, they they start out as comedies, but they get very dark like halfway through. Well, I'm gonna say dark, but um, they get just very serious and more emotional, and I like how they're written like that. Um, but uh, but I do like other you know regular comedy and drama and. I know in the previous question I said I like musicals, um, and in subgenres of comedy and drama too. But the I do like dramedy, and I could have said dark comedy, but I'm gonna stick with dramedy because uh, that's the real term for it. And you're not a true film geek if you don't know the word dramedy. So, on to the next question. Question ten is: Do you own a VCR and VHS tapes? And yes. I have two VCRs, and I have a lot of VHS tapes. I know, a little old-fashioned, um, but yeah. <laughs> Next question. Question t 11 is, uh, are you a Twilight person or not? And I'm not. Uh, I didn't read the books, and I saw the first movie, just the first one, and that was pretty substantial for me. Um, I don't think I'll see the other ones. Um... I just didn't want to get into the whole Twilight fandom, but yeah, just 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 the first one was, was substantial for me, and that was an all right movie. That was that was um, it was all right. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. You know. Okay, question eleven was pretty much the last question because then there's a bonus question, and I decided to answer that one, and that's what movie has made a has made an impact on your life or made you think differently and i answered the latter part of the question and i said american beauty because uh this movie i don't want to say it, it had an impact on me because it didn't really affect me um although it did make me love roses roses so much um because every every time i mention roses i always have a yearn to watch this movie and this isn't a movie you watch just to watch it I'm sorry i'm holding this uh, it it was it's not a movie just to watch it like on a rainy day out of boredom. It's a movie you have to plan to watch it because when you watch it, you really have to study it because roses are well, it, roses are a metaphor for the movie, but it's it's a very metaphorical plot, very symbolic, and it's a movie you really have to focus on when you watch it because it's it's it can be complex to even even to explain why it's so good um, because I can I, I can go on and on about this movie so much every, every time I love roses I always have a year to watch this and you don't want to watch this too much um, I've written essays on this and um, I and it's well acted and well written and it's really an amazing movie and I just have to I I should probably just cut cut this short before I uh, make this too long because it's so good. I can I can dedicate a whole segment to this. Maybe I will. I think I'll do that. It's I'm not gonna say what's part of movie month, but I have two more segments of movie month. But it's um, I'm not gonna say what they are. But I think sometime uh, sometime later on I'll 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 dedicate a segment to American Beauty and just say how good it is and everything and. Um, and then, and then move on. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> moving, moving on. Oh man, it's really hard to stop talking about American Beauty because it's so good. Anyway, um, this was the movie tag, a little TV. And, uh, it, again, it was, it wasn't created by AZ for Angela. I think it was created by Sonya something, but, um, I looked on Sonya something's channel and I could not find it. And, uh, I'll just link... Um, AZ for Angela's video down there in the description along with all the questions so I'll be down there too if you want to do this and go right ahead you know and, um, and, uh, and everything this, this I, I also meant this to be in honor of the Academy Award nominations and um, again I, I have two more segments of movie month but I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it a make it a surprise so uh, I uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.